I Life would not be complete if we didn't do the ideal gas law with stoichiometry. We've got to include stoichiometry with the gas laws. Uh, here are going to be the clues that you're going to have to do stoichiometry and the ideal gas law. Number one, you're given information about a substance, but the answer is for another substance. The only way you can go from substance A to substance B is by walking the bridge, doing the molar ratio. So if you're ever given information about one compound, the answer's for a different compound, you're going to be doing stoichiometry. You'll be doing that molar ratio, walking the bridge as I call it. Second, how do you know that you're going to have to use ideal gas law? Well, they give you all the pressure information, pressure and volume, temperature, um, and they're talking about amount of substance from one particular compound to another one. Um, so there are your two keys. They give you all this pressure, volume, temperature information, but it's for one compound and they want the information, the final answer to be for a different one. So here's an example for you. Uh, we have our very classic ammonia um, product. Uh, this is the Haber process. Let me read this question to you. And I'm going to start writing down some things, labeling as we go. It says gaseous ammonia is synthesized by the reaction. And do you know what? I actually didn't balance that correctly. Sorry, there we go. Now it's balanced, sorry about that. Uh, so here's our Haber process. We're going to make ammonia. It says, assume that 355 liters of hydrogen. So I'm going to write this underneath the hydrogen. We've got 355 liters of hydrogen at 25 degrees C. Okay, so this is my volume. This is my temperature, 25 degrees C. I know always when I'm doing gas laws, we have to use Kelvin. So I'm going to go ahead and add the 273.15 Kelvin, gives us the 298.15 Kelvin. Um, oh, sorry, we don't have to do the K right there. All right, um, let's see, and a pressure of 542 millimeters of mercury. 542 millimeters of mercury. Okay, now here's the significant part of this. It says, it's combined with excess nitrogen. What amount of ammonia? Amount of ammonia in moles can be produced. So when you put over here, there's my question mark. We want to know moles. Okay, this is what grabs me first. Number one, they're giving me all the information about hydrogen, but they want the answer for ammonia. So I know we have to do stoichiometry. We're going to have to walk that bridge that three moles of hydrogen produces two moles of ammonia. Okay, so number one, that's what grabs me. Number two was super poignant. They want amount of substance, moles, but they give me all of this pressure, temperature, volume information, which means we're going to have to use the ideal gas law. So this is how I decipher it. That's how I break it down. I'm looking at these two things. They give me information for one substance, want the answer for another one, and they give me all this pressure information. When we're dealing with amount of substance, I live with the ideal gas law. So here's what we're going to do. Number one. We're going to use the ideal gas law to find moles of hydrogen. And from there, we'll do the molar ratio, walk the bridge, and find the moles of the ammonia. Okay, so number one, ideal gas law. PV equals NRT. Uh, well, we have R, let me go ahead and write that down as a reminder, 0 0.0821 atm times liter divided by mole times Kelvin. Let's go ahead and solve for our moles. So divide both sides by RT, and we will get N equals PV over RT. At this point, it's just a plug and chug. Ooh, I do have to point out one thing. I don't have pressure in the correct unit. That has to be in um, ATM. Let's do that really quick. I'll do it down here. 542 millimeters of mercury. There are 760 millimeters of mercury. Put that in the denominator so it cancels in one ATM. Love those units. The units tell me to divide. Um, so when we do that, we get 0.713 ATM. 0.713 ATM. Let me make that note right here. 0.713 ATM. Okay, now we can plug everything into our uh, rearranged ideal gas law. N equals pressure 0.713 atm times the volume, and this is a large volume, 355 liters. We're doing some mass production here. 
divided by R, 0 0.0821 atm times liter divided by mole times kelvin times our temperature is 298.15 kelvin. Okay, now let's look at units. Always, always look at units. They tell us if we do the equation right, the formula right. Kelvin cancels. Mole does not cancel. I'm so sorry, you guys. Just so you know, it's end of the day for me. <laughs> Leader cancels, ATM cancels, and whew, we're left with mole. That's what we needed. So when we multiply and divide, we are going to get N equals 10.3 moles. Now let's pause. This is always the million dollar question. What did we just find? What is that 10.3 moles? Look back, what did we find? We found the moles of hydrogen. If we have 35, 355 liters at this temperature and this pressure, that means there's 10.3 moles that are going to react. So now let's take the moles of hydrogen and do our stoichiometry. Use that molar ratio to walk the bridge and get to ammonia. So we will have 10.3 moles of hydrogen. Now I want to cancel out, get rid of the moles of hydrogen. So I put that on the bottom, so they'll cancel. We want moles of ammonia. And then I come back and I look at my molar coefficient. Three moles of hydrogen produces two moles of ammonia. Three moles of hydrogen produces two moles of ammonia. So 10.3 times two divided by three is going to give us 6.90 moles of, notice, hydrogen cancels, moles of ammonia. There we have it. Now, there are several variations of this very, very principle, of the same principle, um, but embedded in it are those two basic thoughts. You're given information about one compound, you have to find the answer for a different compound. You live with a molar bridge. You're going to have to do stoichiometry. And then the information that's given is going to be related to um, gas, volume, pressure, temperature. Um, and so you're going to have to use that to get to amount of substance. Um, so as long as you have those two things in your head, you can do any variation on this, any variation. Um, just bring whatever you have to moles and then walk that bridge. You'll find the answer. All right, good work and good luck. Thanks.